Hey everyone, this is Andy Reese with StampitCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Thanks for joining me. We have uh, our next to last card design from page 22 of the annual catalog. We only have these two left. So today I'm going to do this very last one, the bottom right. It's got a card base, uh, a, a layer here, a couple of squares, and a banner. So we'll do this last one on uh, Thursday, I think. So let's get started. <clears throat> Excuse me. We are going to use the um, Iconic, is that what it's called? Iconic Celebrations Designer Paper. Now I went through this uh, a couple videos ago. It has occasions for fall, Thanksgiving, uh, not... <laughs> Not Thanksgiving, fall, Halloween, fall could be Thanksgiving, Halloween, uh, birthday, New Year's, Christmas, and Valentine's Day. So all the holidays covered. And, and you can look back on that video from a couple days ago to see all the papers. But today we're going to do a Christmas one. So I picked this plaid and then I picked the Christmas trees. So I thought we'd go with a real red base. You could use either real red or cherry cobbler, but I'm going with real red because I already had one cut from the other day. And then I'm going to use this as kind of my base. So what I am going to do is once I find my paper trimmer here, buried under stamp sets, I'm going to cut this down to three inches wide. And then I think we'll do it, how much is that? So I like to measure with my fingers, about four, I'm gonna try four and a half. And if it's too tall, we'll bring it, we'll, we can bring it down a little bit, we can take, some off, we can't add it back on. Oh, I think that's good. Okay, so this is centered. And then we have, I just went ahead and cut a couple of squares from basic white using the stylus shape dies. So these are kind of designed like this. We're just gonna go with that look. And then I've got a little banner for my sentiment. It's a, it's a little thicker than maybe <laughs> what's shown, shown on the, um, the sketch, but I wanted to use, I'm using the Mary's Tree stamp set. This is a carryover, but it's in the annual, annual catalog. So I'm gonna use this long, uh, longer sentiment, and then we wish you a Merry Christmas for the inside. And then we've gotta decorate our square. So I chose not to use designer paper as the square because I felt like it would be too busy. So what I did was use this paper and cut out a couple of the Christmas trees. I just cut this out by hand. And I'm gonna lay them on here, just like that. Let's do our stamping. I gotta see, here, here we go. Gotta see what I'm doing. Hard to stamp white on white. So I'm gonna stamp this right here, just like that. And then I have a piece for the inside. Let's see if I can avoid getting ink all over my fingers. Oh, okay. I need to clean it so I can see and then take off that other, because I already have ink, because it's red. Anytime you have red ink, it's gonna get on your fingers, right? Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> Let's take that off so we can see what we're doing. I've got a bad habit of putting, I don't know if it's a bad habit, but I do put, um, a couple, I'll put my inside and my outside sentiments on the same block because when I'm having class, or a big class with lots of projects, we have to be frugal with our blocks. Okay, much better. 
All right, I'm inky and I'm not wearing black pants, so we don't want to wipe them on our pants today. Just wipe them on our cleaning pad. Okay, now it's time to do some assembly. Let's grab some adhesive. We're gonna just put this right in the middle. And then I think we'll do this. Now we could flag this or I'm gonna try this and see how it looks. I like this look sometimes. And let's grab some dimensionals and just pop that up. We'll put this in the in the middle and then we'll oh that looks that looks pretty good. We even have lines so we can line it up straight. And then we can adhere the our two squares and kind of put them underneath a little bit. Tuck them under that sentiment. And have this one kind of going that way. And then let's use a dimensional on our tree. Will that fit? Yep, it sure will. We'll put our trees straight on our block. Okay. Now we do the iconic, um, is it iconic celebration? Iconic imagery um, dies cut those trees out. So you don't have to cut them out by hand. If you prefer the dies, you can use the dies. Um, I just, I couldn't find where I put them. I think they're buried on my desk somewhere. Okay, so I am using these little iridescent dots, uh, adhesive back dots, to, to dot my trees here because it has the red. So I'm just gonna use a little, whoops, come back. A little red dot on the top of our trees. You could even put it just a couple little ones on there. But those are gonna be like my, my stars. And if I wanted, I could probably, because we do have lots of these. Uh, I think I'm just gonna leave them on the stars, or on the trees. Boy, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know, I'm not making sense today. It'll be okay. All right, I'm pre-recording this, by the way. I'm leaving for Chattanooga tomorrow. So um, it's early on Tuesday, I'm recording this. So I haven't talked to anyone yet this morning. So my brain is not functioning and my um, a speech, <laughs> speech isn't functioning yet. So, um, but that's okay. All right, I feel like these probably could have gone a little bit higher, but not too bad. Super cute and easy. You know, if you have circle, if you have a, a square punch, go ahead and square punch them. These trees are small, so they'll fit on, you know, fit on a lot of sizes. And then, um, you know, you could change this out and do circles there or hearts for Valentine or for, you know, if you want to send a love card. Um, it does not have to be um, squares. It can be whatever shape you want. If you like hexagons, you want to use your hexagon punch, go for it. All right, hope you enjoyed today's project. I will post measurements on supplies, measurements and supplies on my blog. Um, today I think is August, it's August now. So if you have coupons from July, make sure to use this this month when you make a purchase, okay? All right, thanks everybody and I will see you soon, bye-bye.